Uh, and it was great uh, inspiring speech from the Commission Cagnette, and then we have the full belief in uh, S&D group, what I'm presenting as a shadow, that this needs to be looked at as a coherent big package to take a new direction for Europe, for the climate, for the well-being of the people, and also the not to forget the social side of this one. So energy poverty has been one of the most important issues for us to cr uh, examine cross-border of these different files and different ideas how to reach that. But also I have to say that when I started on this one, coming from Finland, it was of course a lot of cool, uh, heating. And then I started to meet lobbyists, and it's always a positive sign to me, it's all to learn more. And then I had a colleagues from South, and they were, no, you should not forget the, uh, the cooling side. But then I looked at the facts, and there is only one European Union country that use more energy for cooling than heating. So then actually I think that the cooling and heating having the, as a one title is also a big... Uh, uh, misunderstanding somewhat that, that yes, we have to really look at the, the heating and yes, of course, uh, then at the cooling side. So, so the, it has been a good learning process during the way uh, uh, and then uh, for, um, to see the, the needs that we have to not to remember is also this uh, uh, possibility for people waking up in the homes. They seldom talk about the building when they wake up, they wake up in the homes and then they go to work, not to the working market. Or, or something as we politicians tend to think. So I also had the opportunity to visit a site in Bruges, which was uh, also visited by the Sefcovic, and it was the house, and they had a, a, a special program to how to, uh, to, to do the local project to reach the people that do not self-manage alone with their uh, capital or incomes to renovate the houses. So uh, I think these are very much needed. Unfortunately, this is not the file that we could restructure the funding uh, possibilities of the European Union, but then we do have uh, mentioned here uh, very important uh, uh, points, like also the uh, dual uh, interest, that once you are owner, you want to get some uh, higher rents, and then we know that the people sometimes do not afford to having the higher rents. So what, what is the solution? It's to reduce the, the fuel price and then the consumption amounts of use. So then we see that, yes, we have to pay attention for the, the amount of uh, energy needed to, in the house and, and uh, energy efficiency really gives the solutions to that one. Uh, then there is a lot of other files that we will talk about the energy price <laughs> and, and how to make the markets also profitable so, and markets also to function so that the, the price of energy, is it then electricity or other, uh, remains uh, accessible for all the people. So uh, also one uh, a special feature I think is, is was quite clever in this file is that the division of the non-residential buildings compared to the residential buildings. I found it uh, also important on the social aspect uh, and then the, the, the thinking of the fuel and, and energy prices, because then I uh, assumed that always the non-residential owning is a professional thing, or at least it should be quite semi-professional to own buildings that are not for uh, housing. Uh, so then, we took very uh, profound uh, uh, action here to think that uh, building automation control system should be obligatory for the houses which are owned by the professionals, mm -hmm. and that uh, actually that it is your business to keep on uh, mm -hmm. keep, keep houses. And I also had many many figures that, but all of them uh, giving very. Uh, short payback times for the investment on the building automation. But then it's not that easy to put on the, the residential side because then we have to also think about the finance. But as, as a project and a commission in the end answered that when there is platforms, when there is programs and the local initiatives, and so then we can target that one. Now I will probably not to, to tackle only the title given to me, but mentioned also something that was very important to me where is the indoor air quality. And coming from Finland, uh, most of the debates talks about the mold when we talk about the renovating houses. So the mold is a problem, and I do not want to come here in a uh, 
10 years time, I, I do want to maybe come here to work, but not on the file that tackles the problem of the mold. And then they have a new di the, uh, directive looking at this. So yes, isolation is not the only solution. It has to be done in the proper way. So energy efficiency, which forgets the indoor uh, healthy climate, is a bad energy efficiency for the people living there. So it's not a way of a motivation, uh, as, a, as a moderator asked us to say. So I I want to see that renovating helps the people to save in the energy bills and at the same time have the better quality, uh, better house for living, and which is also healthy and not uh, disastrous for their lungs. That very much applies to the schools and public buildings. Uh, and I must say that it, the knowledge of this problem is very much different in different countries. In some countries, it's a hot topic. In some countries, it's only you, the, the people working on the business, that you are aware. But it's not really the public demand to say that, please save us from these diseases. So I'm, I'm very happy that it will be mentioned in our file as well, that it's to be considered when the uh, new uh, buildings are done. And then another one which is also a specialty for some companies and the problems that if the people then are happily waking up in the new renovated house and the lower energy bills and the mobile doesn't function anymore. They are not happy then afterwards. So that's also to think about. And then we have in our file, which I'm very proud and happy, this one-stop shop idea for the homes. And then I have talked to many people here. I, I have a Belgian friend who has a house here, and she wants to uh, renovate. But she doesn't find anybody to help the how to renovate with the natural materials only. She's ready to pay something more, and then really interesting on that one. So yes, there should be one-stop shops open for all the companies to put the information there. Some. Uh, uh, workers from the council or from the, the states to do it. So this is almost everything I have. And the last sentence, electric mobility. We have a quite good stand, broad uh, compromise on, on, on the ITRE to vote on. It will uh, need some modification during the trial works. Uh, commission is very ambitious to change the system because we don't, if we don't do it now, we're not going to do it later. So energy, the, the efficient way, the cost efficient way is to do it when you renovate, you do it prepared uh, for the mobility. I'm a bit afraid that we didn't find the uh, answer on the bi-directional charging because then we lose a lot, lot of uh, possibility for recharge charge what they do in microseconds, the, the advanced electricity system. But I believe that will come in the November report that Commission will soon give, give us. Thank you so much. <laughs>